IBS is an acronym for irritable bowel syndrome, and it is a chronic recurring abdominal pain associated with some change in bowel habits, and it's common. In the U.S., approximately 15% of the population suffers from irritable bowel syndrome. Women have a two times greater likelihood of developing IBS than men do, and it is the second most common reason for missing work, only behind the common cold. There's all different types of IBS. There's diarrhea predominant IBS, there's constipation predominant IBS, there's pain predominant IBS. These patients suffer from a significant amount of urgency so that it makes them difficult to go out uh, because some of them the urgency is so severe they develop incontinence. And when you develop incontinence that it's a socially disabling symptom, you will not go out. The studies have shown the most successful treatments have to do with developing a good physician-patient relationship. And in fact, better than most of the drugs on the market right now, and the drugs work a lot better. In fact, when you give them to a patient, if you have a good physician-to-patient relationship.